Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning and um, I think we've gotten over the worst of the weather here. It's been really, really blowy the last few days, almost like um, Hurricane Harry or whatever it is. Um, leaves and um, packets everywhere. Um, and unfortunately, because of my poorly leg, I can't go out and sweep them up out the front and I've got a big drive as some of you will see so um, I'm hoping my very kind neighbour as he's parked on the drive next door will go and do it for, for me, maybe. Anyway, um, over the next couple of days I am going to, well I'm hoping my brother's going to be coming again um, and we're going to be barbecuing in the garden or if not i'll cook and we'll eat out in the garden um and he'll be regaling you with some of his wonderful ballads again it's particularly partial to the beatles so you might get eleanor rigby or um hey jude who knows <laughs> he has um as i've said before believe it or not got a really good um singing voice when he's not messing around um and maybe we can get him to sing properly i do have a mic upstairs which hasn't been used yet um i might bring it down for the purpose we'll see anyway <clears throat> i'm going to touch on this briefly and then that's it as far as i'm concerned for now anyway um my stance on Tom Mills and his new girlfriend is that I hope it works for all concerned, all of them. Tom, um, I'm sorry I've forgotten your name. Tom, his new girlfriend um, and particularly the children. But I do stand by my statement that Tom has introduced her um, way too early. He only met her twice and um, I think he introduced her on the first occasion today of meeting her, not sure, first or the second and um, it's too much too soon for those children who are still grieving their mum and also I go so far as to say that on the 10th anniversary of Andrea's death, it was also insensitive. Um, there's been a study done, I, I'm not sure, I, it was in the States, I can look it up if necessary, but there's been a study done um, to say that 52% of males who marry within the first 18 months of their wife's death 52% the marriages break down. You know, I really hope that's not going to be the case here. Some people would argue that um, the children are going to be an additional strain, but I would hope that the children are going to be a glue, if you like, that the blended family is coming together are going to be a very strong glue that is going to keep them together. We'll see. There are a couple of things that I would love to ask Tom and his girlfriend. I keep referring to her as his girlfriend and please forgive me, I should have looked. your name before starting this video um but there are a couple of questions that i would love to ask you um not relating to your relationship you know and personal stuff but in regards to your religion and your beliefs and the belief in submission of the wife to the husband in that the wife doesn't necessarily need to be silent 
but she does need to accept that the husband has the final say on any matter relating to the family. Um, I'd argue in these days of equality and better education for women, etc., that um, there's an argument that women should have an equal, at least, say. Um, but I know there's many, many religions that bring that into force and the wives comply with it quite happily. Um, and I would just like them to um, establish to me how that would work. Um, both very strong-minded, if they're both very strong-minded people. I'm not talking about the meals now. I'm, I'm talking about any relationship. If you've got two very strong people, strong-minded people in a relationship, well-educated people in a relationship, and where the husband who has a view that may be incorrect, um, and for some reason he's not seeing the wood for the trees and his wife has got a better grip on what's going on, then why shouldn't the wife have the final say in what occurs, whether it be relating to the kids, relating to whether they'll have kids, relating to a house move, anything. Um, you know, days of equality. And um, there are relationships also where the husband may be very dogmatic and very um, a bully in some instances. Um, does a wife necessarily, because she's hitched herself to that wagon, necessarily have to put up with that for the rest of her life? I'm not talking about the mills. I'm not talking about anybody I know. I'm talking about in general. But, you know, there's a lot of questions surrounding this issue of submission and just religious beliefs in general that I'd be very interested to um, delve into a little more deeply. Um, I don't say that any view is absolutely right or absolutely wrong because no couple are the same, is the same, but um, for a religion to apply it across the board, I think, is um, a little archaic, shall we say, in these days, 2020. I would have thought that we'd move past, you know, the days of Henry VIII, etc., where the wife was always very firmly under the husband's thumb, under the husband's hands in many cases. Anyhow, that's my first video for today. I've not long got up, as you might tell. And um, a very kind friend said to me, <laughs> What are you going to do, Anne, when you go to the hairdressers finally? What excuse are you going to give? I'm not going to give her any excuse. Why should I? I shall just say, I tied my hair back. I got the scissors and I chopped it. And that's what I did because it was driving me nuts. And I don't regret it either because it's been so easy to wash it in the morning and just towel it dry. It's been it's been great, and although I might look a bit like worse or gummage, it feels okay. <laughs> anyway, I might I might come back a little later. I wanted to update you regarding Alfie. We're not been allowed to go to the nursing home again, um, as I said in my other videos. They're in lockdown. Um, I, I can't see any of this 
isolation and the steps to get back to a new normal. I can't see any of it really working. Um, reasons I'll give you when next I upload or download or post. <laughs> I'll be back later. I better go and get some breakfast before I collapse. I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.